equipment needed for today. We'll need a chair, a mat, some weights. I just picked one heavy weight because I'm filming in kind of an odd place today and I didn't feel like dragging a whole bunch of stuff around. Um, and then you'll also want one of the mini bands. Always have water, but other than that, we will get started with the warm up. All right, start with a little step touch here. All right, why don't we curl those hamstrings? Pull those arms back with it. This is completely a lower body class, but sometimes I still like to add a little bit of arms in just to make it fun. All right, we're gonna reach opposite hand, opposite foot. Excellent. All right, go ahead and go back to that butt kicker. Option to stay right here or start to jog it with those butt kickers. If you want to stay low impact, just stay where we were. I do not have a problem with you staying low impact, okay? Excellent. All right. Take those feet wider than hip distance. We're gonna squat it out. Down and up. Excellent. So we've got 60 minutes here. Where we're gonna work all of the lower body. Had a lot of band work today. So you may not be maybe as sweaty as when we do all heavy weights, but we will feel it. It just might feel a little different, okay? All right, we're gonna step to the side. Reach, come back together, step to the other side. Notice here, this knee is bent, that leg is straight. You don't have to touch all the way down to the ground. If that doesn't feel right for you. Keep it up a little higher. Maybe you're here. That's fine with me. This is a nice little movement because it warms up those inner thighs. Or not warms up, stretches them a little bit as they move. All right, let's do a couple lunges here. Remember, nice long stride. Drop that knee down. Bring it back up. That front knee has that 90 degree angle. One more, and then we're going to switch. Other side. Ooh, I'm falling over. <laughs> Seriously, falling over. <laughs> Ooh. We're just dropping that knee down, bending that front knee so that front ankle stacked over that front. That front knee stacked over that front ankle. Last one. Option to find a wall or a chair. Swing those legs open and shut. Go ahead, switch other side. Excellent job. All right, get those knees up. Option to stay right here. Maybe you want to jog a little bit. Get those knees up though, we're doing high knees here. Want to get those legs nice and warm. So even if you're walking it, still get those knees up, okay? Excellent. Keep pushing for me. All right, come back to that step touch. Whew, my mat's getting a little wonky. It happens when you're on carpet. Okay. All right, we're gonna go squat, side lunge, 
squat, side lunge. Let's work through here. We're still in the warm up. Don't get crazy. You don't need to add any weight. All right. All we're doing is squatting it down, lifting it up. Goblet squat. Ready? Get set. Go. 40 seconds here. Whew. Get that butt down nice and low for me. Remember, we keep that chest lifted. I'm going to turn to the side. So don't let those shoulders come forward. Keep them back. Check it out. Is your butt coming down to about knee line? That's where we want it. Maybe if you're holding it down here, you're tapping that weight against the ground. Go ahead and rest. Plie squat is next. So I'm gonna grab two separate weights. I'll hold them right there on your thighs. Turn out those toes, lower it down and up. Option two, they'd be up on your shoulders, lowering it down and up. One, here we go. Down and up. Maybe having weights on your shoulders doesn't feel good. That's okay, take them off. See how wide my legs are? They're almost as wide as my mat. And when I come down, I come down nice and low. Excellent. And those weights are there, just adding resistance to the movement. You could do this whole workout without equipment and you would still feel it, okay? Rest. My weight's down. Grab that band. I want it around your ankles. Now, stagger your stance. Chest is lifted. All we're doing, lifting that leg up, lowering it down. Here we go. Lift and lower. So the leg lifting for me right now is my right leg. I don't care if you started on your left, that's totally fine. We're gonna do both anyway. Just make sure on the next round you do the other one, okay? And I don't want white knuckle in it with the chair. Maybe just fingertips. You could even Stay here and just balance. Now you could totally do this move without a band. Rest. Same thing, other leg. I'm gonna turn my chair the other direction so it's my outward facing leg that you see. But now this is my left leg. Same thing, stand up nice and tall, shoulders are back, leg back. We're just gonna lift and lower. Here we go. 40 seconds here. Whew. I am a sweaty mess. That's good though. When you get real sweaty, you know you worked, right? <laughs> now temptation can come in so many different ways. So the example we've given so far is just food. Maybe that's not even something you struggle with. Maybe you've just always been one of those people stop when you're full that's awesome and I'm super jealous of you <laughs> by the way two one rest Woo. okay next one we've got hip bridge with feet on the chair heels go into the chair we're gonna be targeting more of our hamstrings here I want your heels not the tops of your feet push those hips up bring them down I've been practicing a song and I did it today where we use drumsticks for the song Joy by for King and Country <laughs> and it's like a three minute song it's not crazy long but the whole song is basically just lifting and lowering your hips so this motion no weights obviously but my glutes, hamstrings I'm a little tired. We'll get through it together. Rest. So, 
One foot, it goes underneath the arch of your foot. The other one, it goes around the ankle. So whichever foot is under the arch of that foot stays put. The other leg lifts up, comes back down. That's it. You're just straightening the leg and bending it back down. You will feel this on the top side of your leg, those quadriceps. It might not look like much, but your quads will feel it. You may have to be considerate of how tense of a band you're using if this starts to bother your knee. I tried to stay with something not too intense today because I have been noticing my knees being a little bothered with stuff too heavy. Rest. All we're talking about, so we're going to be switching those feet. All we're talking about is asking God for the strength to continue on when normally you would give up. Okay, just switch the bottom of the feet. Now, my other foot, it's around the arch. Whew. And the foot that was on the ground, now it's going to lift. Here we go. Lift and lower. Anytime we do one leg, we're going to have to do the other. We want to keep things even. Not going to lie, this leg feels harder. I don't know why. I suppose when we're sitting here, maybe I tighten it up to hold it in place. I'm not really sure. All I know is that I'm feeling it. You can take me tomorrow when your legs are a little wobbly. <laughs> right. To keep the band exactly the way it is, or you can switch out the feet. I might switch them out. But all we're going to be doing is a little hamstring curl. Comes around ankle of the leg that you're going to lift. So you're going to curl it up, curl it down. There we go. We're just working the opposite end, opposite side of the leg. If it feels better, you could probably keep it a little bit partly on your shoe. That helps. I have really low socks. So having it around my ankle was kind of hurting. And was digging into my skin. But maybe you have long pants on or long socks. And you can keep it around your ankle. I just moved mine for that reason. She said it a bit wrong. She's sure what? Go ahead and rest. Alright. Same thing, but I'm going to switch it around. Make sure this side is all the way underneath my arch. Again, I'm probably going to put it not quite on my ankle, a little bit still on my shoe. But remember, that was literally just because it kind of hurt my leg. Here we go. Move it up. Woo, keep going. My band just came off. That is the downside to using these bands. <laughs> Alright, I might just have to suck it up and leave it around my ankle. I was able to figure it out on the other leg, but not quite on this one. <sighs> the second leg might feel harder. It's not in your head. It, it probably is harder. That leg was working standing there. Rest. Next, we're going to do some backstepping lunges. So you can get rid of the band for now. Get the chair off to the side. Bring those weights up onto your shoulders. We're going to stay on one leg to start with. So all we're doing, stepping back, lunging it down, staying here. I'm going to turn to the side. So if you have a mirror or you can see a reflection in glass anywhere, Check out that front knee. Make sure it is not driving past that ankle. Be right on top of it. If it's up towards your toes, you need to step back further, okay? 
I teach a lot of classes where we do lunges and so often people do them incorrectly and that makes me worried if they don't fix it Whew, because it's really really hard rest in between here give your shoulders a break with those weights we're gonna do the other leg I'll face the other direction this time About 10 more seconds get set up my left leg is gonna step back this time There we go down and up if you really like to you can always step in and out like so that will engage your, your hamstrings a little bit more but it isn't a requirement today I'm just going down and up okay Whew. today is a bit of a doozy yesterday I made the mistake of taking a nap for like three hours felt amazing and I felt like I needed it last night there was no sleep for me two one now this next one we are using the band is gonna go whew, above above the knee we are going to squat lift squat lift okay Alternate that lift, but squat in between. Remember when you're squatting down, don't let those knees come in. Keep them apart. Depending on your band, you might be able to lift higher or less high. We're all probably using different levels of intensity on our band. That's gonna affect how high you can lift. Rest. Okay, next move, coming down to the ground. Option one, keep it above the knees. Open, close. Option two, throw a weight here. Option three, coming down by one could be just right about at the knee so you're resting on top of the band open and close the other one's by the ankle it's where it landed up it could be above your knee still to be honest off the top of my head i can't even tell you which one's probably harder mostly because this band isn't super challenging Well, I'm sure you can tell where this move gets its name. I'll turn this out a little bit more. So you can see what Lex's fully doing. Rest. All right, flip it around for ya. I'm gonna do the other side. Feel free to grab a drink in between if you need it. Three, two, one. Okay, other side, lift and lower. Whew. Second side's always harder, right? The standing leg has to work too. We just worked it hard. You can do this. I believe in you. I need you to believe in you too, okay? Yes. Our first cool down move. Let's take those legs out super wide here. I want you to reach up and over. Don't worry if your legs aren't as far apart as mine. This isn't a flexibility class. Maybe they're wider than mine. I'm sure some people's are. Other side. Up and over. Okay. 
Now I hope you're all just as sweaty as I am. We got something onto this. If nothing else, maybe you're not even sore, which, wow, kudos to you, because I am super sore. <laughs> but even if you're not, I hope the message got through to you today about praying against temptation. Bring those legs in front, turn it up nice and tall, reach it forward. If you can reach those feet, it helps to pull back on those toes. That'll give you a little calf stretch as well as a hamstring stretch. If you're not there, if you can't reach your toes yet, that's okay. And we're going to a hip flexor stretch. One knee down, one knee up. Move it forward. You go as deep as you want. Maybe drop one hand down today and open up the arm towards the sky. If this bothers you, just stay up in that kneeling position and tuck the tailbone. Go ahead, switch those legs out. You get an option to stay right here or drop one hand down. The other arm reaches up. If you're wondering which leg the arms are where, right now my right leg is the one right here bent forward. My left hand is down on the floor. My right arm is reaching up towards the sky. Maybe being this deep down into the stretch might not feel good, in which case you just take it up, okay? Go ahead and release. I want you to cross one leg over, push the other leg back. Come on down to half pigeon. Option to come down to your elbows or you can stay up here, whichever feels better for you. And just sink into it. Quiet your mind. Slow down your breath. Go ahead, switch those legs out. Same thing. Cross that leg in front. Forward. Option to come down to those elbows. I want you to land to your side. Just pull on the tops of your feet. A quadricep stretch. I'm just pulling on the parts of where my shoelaces. This can also be done standing up, but I figured we're already on the floor. We might as well do it down here, right? Switch on your side. Go ahead, release. Oh, let's just close in a quick prayer before we send you on your way. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this time together, Lord. Strengthen us that we may not enter into temptation, and that when temptation comes our way, you give us the strength to pass right past it, that we'll know it wasn't by our strength that we didn't give in, but because of your mercy and your grace. Lord, I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen.
See you next time.